This week, it's all about speed, competition, determination to win. I'm currently in the, one of the pit buildings at the Silverstone International Motor Racing Circuit. This is where the uh, Grand Prix takes place. Today is an amazing race. I'm actually racing with um, Little Ilford School. You'll see the cars in a moment. They are truly extraordinary. They're built by the teams that race them. They allowed me to be one of their team members, which means they're going to go. They are risking the championship. Green Power is an educational trust which runs and organises competitions between schools from all over the country. Each team builds their own car, but they have exactly the same battery pack, electric motor and control system. The children come from all backgrounds, fairly deprived neighbourhoods like Little Ilford School, the team I'm driving with, but there are teams from big grammar and technical schools and even Eton College. Yes, there's some very privileged young chaps here too. And the day we spent at Silverstone was very, very wet. So I'm here with a very retiring young woman who, who never says anything. It's very hard to get her to talk. Shamida, <laughs> who's running this team. Now, your team is from... Manor local. Park, which is the east side of London. Right. Green Power as a, as a racing... Uh, competition. Yes. It, it was already in, in existence. Is that, is yes. that right? And then you That's heard right. about it and said, "I want to put a car into that." Yes. Well, what happened was um, we uh, were introduced by London Engineering Project to the engineering clubs. Right. And that's how I started a club at our school. Right. Part of um, signing up to the London Engineering Project was that we would get a green power car, right. we would build it, and then we would race it. 2007, we started building. Right. 2008, we raced in our first right. race. This then came to us in. 2008 and then we raced it for the first time in 2009 right. when you put it together in two weeks wow this is actually a new body kit on it majority of everything that we used we recycled a lot of that also teaches the children about the, econo uh, the economy and yeah. the environment itself yeah. Yeah. because there's no point buying new things all the time yes. and just chucking everything else away no, yeah. fantastic yeah. so what, but what is amazing is the commitment of your students so you not only have you got kids who are at school now but yes. you even got kids who were at your school yes. who come back and volunteer to help run it I and mean, when I got in the car they were really they were like a Formula 1 pit team yes. they? they strapped in they, they were checking everything I pulling you tightly yeah, yeah. Yes. they were really really keen on it aren't they? So, yeah. so part of the, the racing thing then is to swap the drivers fairly fast I mean, yes. when, you're, when you're actually running a race. This morning it's an 80, race, uh, 80 minute race for the students and a four, four hour race for us adults as right. the corporate team. Right, but, that, but what's wonderful though is the enthusiasm of the, of the children at your school, obviously, re and, and boys and girls, I mean, because yes. a lot of people think, oh, it's engineering, it's mechanics, it's boys, but look, the girls are fantastic. They're girls really are better cool. drivers. Um, Our driver who's driving with us in the corporate challenge later on, she's very good at ending races, even with batteries that are literally falling apart. Right. We're actually looking into engineering apprenticeships that right. she could get into. Right. So we've um, we've arranged some career interviews and stuff for her, right. and she wants to go down that apprenticeship route right. rather than going to university right. itself. So I'm here with the team now. I, I, I don't know because I've now had a go in this car very briefly. I can tell. I can verify that it moves, it goes along, and, it, and these wheels splash dirty mud right up into your eye, which is really cool. But just tell me briefly what it is then, so because you, you know it backwards. It's literally just a, a, a go-kart powered by two batteries and a motor. Right. The brakes are on the front side, Yeah. yeah and it's one wheel drive. This is the acceleration button here. Yeah. This is the switch for the car, yeah. and then the, on, the horn button's over there, and the brake is the brake. Right. How are these two tyres? And they're just like brakes that you get on a push bike, like yeah. disc brakes on a push bike. But they work yeah. well though. This is what we use at, um, in school for right. practice. We use like um, old tyres, right. bikes, which is really good. And it's, uh, keeps but these tyres, these are different. So you wouldn't have these on a bike. These, these are, are proper these are racing tyres. Yeah, slick yeah. racing tyres. You, now, have you all driven it in races? Yeah. You've all driven it. And that, so, I mean, had you ever driven anything else before, like a go-kart or a car or anything else? So this is, this is the first thing you've ever driven? Yeah, this is the first one. Yeah. Yeah, we built it. That's the best And you part. built it as well, which is amazing. I'm going to ask a really contentious question. Who's a better driver? Is there, is it, because I've heard that you're quite good. It's me. Is it you? It's me, of course. He does the pits. <laughs> Soon it was my turn in the car. Now I'm not going to pretend it was easy getting in, but once I'd been strapped in by the very professional pit crew, it was surprisingly comfortable. Although, as I was about to discover, not very waterproof. 
Okay, I'm going flat out. I, I guess I'm close to uh, 27 miles an hour now. Uh, the car feels very stable and responsive. It corners well, there's, there's no power steering. I'm going flat out now, maybe close to 32 miles an hour. Oh my god, I'm going flat out and I'm being overtaken by a 12 year old. I, I can't actually see where I'm going. This is driving by guesswork. I don't wish to go into any detail, but my gentleman's bottom area is very, very moist. Oh no, I'm being overtaken again. I bet that was Eaton School. Damn it, the kid driving that could be the next David Cameron. Come on, Middle Ophan, you can do it! I don't think I've ever been so relieved to pull into a pit lane. Brilliant fun, though. I wish I'd been able to drive one of these when I was 11. So from a classic dripping wet cold day in the summer in England in Silverstone, there it goes again, it's still going around the track. I did a measly two laps, it's going to be going for another hour or so. The dedication and the enthusiasm of the kids here is amazing. Really, really uplifting. I've had a brilliant day, even though I'm soaking wet and freezing cold. I also had a ride in another electric racing car, the Leaf Nismo RC. Essentially, it's exactly the same as the Nissan Leaf. Same motor, same battery as a control system. It just goes a little bit faster. Now, this footage was filmed on a lovely sunny day. Unlike the day I went in the car, which was legendarily moist. So wet, we couldn't film the car from the side of the track. We're getting permission to go out on the track. In a Nissan Leaf, that's what we're in, effectively. But it really doesn't feel like one. <laughs> <laughs> so it's... <laughs> yeah, so it's exactly the same setup in yeah. terms of the technology, the battery, the motor. But, there, but instead of it being front-wheel drive with an engine at the front, the, the engine's sort of in the middle. Yeah. And it's rear wheel drive. Yeah, so we've got a lead motor layout, rear wheel right. drive. On the dashboard here, I've got four different configurations of motor map. I suppose the balance between motor performance and the regenerative braking, right. the aggression of the regenerative right. braking. I come off the accelerator and onto the brake. Right. There's an element of conventional braking, right. but most importantly is that regenerative braking, right. giving what would have been wasted energy from the brakes back to the battery and then back into the motor. Back into the motor. Um, you, you can feel the suspension set to be very firm, yeah. there's a negligible amount of roll in the car. It's very much a, a serious, well-sorted uh, electric race car of the future. Right. But now you just adjusted something there, what was that to you ten? Is that the, the motor setting? Yeah, yeah, I've got the DEFCON 3 on the, uh, on the setting. That the increases the, yeah, the aggression of the regenerative right. braking. So when I lift off the throttle now, right. the car just like you've got the brakes on. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, what is different to, um, you know, for people who've never been in an electric vehicle, what is very different, I think, to conventional cars is you, you expect it to run out of puff when you accelerate, which is when you change gear. Yeah. And with an electric car, that doesn't happen. It's that very weird sensation, not right from the standing start, but from when you're sort of, you know, when you're already rolling 40, 50 miles an hour, the acceleration is the same yeah. from that point further up, isn't it? I, is just, I just explain to people, it's like, an, uh, like a light bulb. When you turn a light bulb on, it doesn't gradually increase in intensity. Right. It delivers its full intensity, really, it, from it, the word yeah. go. Um, and that's the potential that you've got. Wow. <laughs> that is extraordinary. I mean, it, what's amazing is that it, you know, it is the same electric motor that's in the Leaf. And the Leaf, you know, I've done 93 miles an hour in my Leaf, legally, I'll admit that, <laughs> on, a, on, a, on a very safe public road, but, you know, just to see what it would do. But the, it's it's not so much the top speed, it's the acceleration and it's the the grip. I mean, that is phenomenal. Grip. That's awesome. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Oh, that was really no good. Very nice. And it's real as well, you know. You, yeah. You, you you see it on um, on a PowerPoint or you read about it in the press, yeah. and you think. Wow, an electric massive. racing car, yeah. but you know this is this is a we're, we're still at the sort of taking the baby steps yeah, in terms absolutely. of technology and pushing the boundaries. And you think 
This could go a long way. It could. Yeah, yeah, it brilliant. Could. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Very good of you. Very nicely driven. <laughs>